Sees Devin Dwyer takes you into some tiny houses for the grand tour. It's the mansion of Andrew and Gabriella Morrison's dreams, except they say a mansion is really a state of mind. It only took us four months to build, and the cost to build it, $22,744.06. Theirs is just 221 square feet. That's slightly bigger than a Chevy Suburban, and a lot smaller than your average 3,000 square foot McMansion. All right, welcome to the inside. The Grand Tour, and inside their tiny home, come into the kitchen. The kitchen where they have a top chef. I can do Donna Summer dance moves in here if I want to. This place is huge. They've got a master bedroom on one side and a guest bedroom on the other there atop the ladder. So comfortable up here. A fireplace and plenty of storage. Pull-outs for our hats and gloves. All 18 pairs of their shoes fit neatly beneath the staircase. They're marvels of architecture with tiny price tags, enticing buyers stressed out by full-size mortgages. Another benefit? You can take them anywhere. How about an abandoned D.C. alley? It's called the Matchbox. The Matchbox. Jay Austin's tiny home, just 146 square feet, costing him about $30,000. This is his bike rack. It's also his coffee table. His bed is over the kitchen, and because Jay loves to cook, the ceiling below doubles as a spice rack. And behind that wall... It doubles as a... as a wet bath. Tiny living has become a growing movement.